Let's suppose you are the leader of a small organization, in this case, a small town located in the middle of nowhere with no real marketing dollars or budget to speak of. And you know deep down you're not that much different from the thousands of others of cities and small towns hoping to attract tourists and outside investment. And as a leader, you know you need to do something dramatically different than what everybody else is doing. So beginning with the vision of the mayor, Fraser told me, what they did is they started to think less like a municipality and more about creating their own media company. A media company that focused on telling stories, stories that would build connection and trust with real people all over the internet, all over the world. A media company with its own distinctive brand identity. Now to figure out that brand identity, they gathered a number of community and civic leaders together in September of 2018, and they really dug into Moose Jaw's rich history and colorful past, full of drama, mystery, intrigue. It was said that Al Capone used to go escape from Chicago to Moose Jaw back during the Prohibition era of the 1920s. They literally unlocked a treasure chest of stories that they could tell forever, stories that could flow like a river from their own unique brand identity, firmly established as Canada's most notorious city. So what began in a conference room with an intentional brand strategy evolved to the point where in 2019, Moose Jaw was involved in an international moose war with Norway over who had bragging rights to the world's tallest moose statue, which generated all kinds of uh, global publicity. There's been a number of uh, other social media splashes, the most recent when the mayor went poolside to poke fun at Canadian politicians. Are you a Canadian politician taking heat for going away at Christmas? Listen up. I'm Fraser Tolmy, Mayor of Moose Jaw. And I'm notoriously lucky, because I don't need to take the heat to get away from it all. Why? Thank you. Because we have it all right here in Canada's most notorious city. Mm. We have all the amenities and no shaming. So, if you're someone trying to escape from it all, do what Al Capone did. Come to Canada's most notorious city. We'll never tell. In this day and age, you want to be inclusive. You want to have people involved and they want to be involved. Uh, media is a source of connecting people and it's important to be able to put those triggers in and, and hooks in for people to want to get, uh, get on board. And so that's what we did. And basically uh, it grew, it exploded and uh, it went viral globally where CNN, BBC, uh, LA Times, New York Times, CBC, This Hour Has 20 Minutes, Colbert, uh, all had something to say about the moose war between the city of Moose Jaw and Stor Eldal in Norway. So let's dissect this in terms of business results. What is the ROI on all these social media efforts? Well, tourism in 2019 alone went up by more than 30%. There's been multiple awards for the municipality from the Economic Developers Association of Canada, greatly enhancing the city's image and reputation. And literally since 2019, tens of millions of dollars in free publicity. So for any business leader watching this and wondering, how does all of this, thinking like a media company, apply to my organization? Well, thinking like and becoming your own media company in many respects is the most powerful way that you can build connection and trust with customers, clients, prospects. You could tap into who knows, international global networks that you might not even be aware of. Creating content is like starting a fire. Social media is dousing it with rocket fuel. 
So here's your challenge as a business leader. It's, it's about gathering some insiders, your leadership team, your top managers together, and really start the process of digging in to your own history, your own treasure chest of stories. You know, and you just might need a little bit of outside help because typically a universal truth is that people have a hard time reading the label when they're stuck inside the bottle. More than anything, becoming your own media company is a mindset shift. It's a commitment, long-term commitment, not a short-term campaign. And, and by producing the high quality content like the city of Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan has been doing over these last several years, that's the way that you actually create connection and trust with people that you want to attract to your town, your organization, your small business, whatever endeavor that you are trying to advance. As always, we so appreciate when you join us here. Feel free to uh, like this post, share it with others in your network. And as always, thanks for watching Leaders and Legends, where you never know who you're going to meet or what you'll discover. So ladies and gentlemen, from Canada's most notorious city, the city of Moose Jaw, as mayor of the city of Moose Jaw and potentially new Canada, I'd like to say this to you. There are some things you just don't do to Canadians. You don't tell us we can't put maple syrup on our pancakes. You don't water down our beer and you do not mess with Mac the Moose.